Today we're going to be talking about some crypto news and some updates about how we're going to be scoring some coins and ICOs. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to All Coin Picks. Before I begin, I want to thank everyone for being here and showing their support. I want to give a shout out to Jean for adding me to the broadcast. My name is Stefan. I want, I'm new to YouTube, but I've been in the crypto space for quite some time. I want to share a couple pieces of news with everyone. So let's get started. All right, guys, if you look at the chart, we actually were just the other day in the weekend at around $7,300 for Bitcoin. And it was right on that little desperation little moment. And it just had hit the trend line and we're starting to see some nice little price action, a little bullish little candle going on right here. But that's not really even focus on Bitcoin. Let's get some news going. So I actually been browsing online and I found this little piece of information from the Congress uh, where they actually had a little report called the Joint Economic Con Committee Congress of the United States. So if you look right here, you're going to see right now where they actually have a little bit of explaining to them what is Bitcoin and what it has been showing. And uh, this is kind of wild because if you look at the little charts, it actually shows like Google searches for the years of what is Bitcoin. And you can kind of look at 13, 2013, 2014, and then that little period where it was just dark days and the dark ages. And then in 2017, you see this huge leap about what people were actually clicking on Google about what it was Bitcoin. And then if you scroll down, I already read into that, but it, I'm, I'm just going to like focus on what they actually wrote in their, their report. Cryptocurrencies made stock market gains look insignificant. So it's just wild that even though it's showing that it looks insignificant, that is still only less than 1% the stock market value. So like you can see the amount of growth that this space can do. And then it's crazy because in the report as well, it shows about certain companies trying to flag out um, companies that are in the market that are just using the name blockchain to gain value. The Long Island, Ice-T. They changed their name to Long Blockchain, and it's just wild the amount of growth they've gotten in that short amount of time. And this is just like one of the companies that we hear about. This is not just happening in the crypto space itself. It's happening with mainstream companies. This is just one of the few things that you can be seeing around this space. I also want to talk about what's going on in the world when it comes to regulation and ICOs. And then you can see a little bit of chart up here from out, out like the world map about what's going on in terms of regulation. And you can see that China is the only one that almost sort of said no to ICOs. We're going to regulate this. Blockchain is a threat to our economy. And we're going to just basically shut down everything that's going on. And then you look at the rest of the world and you can pretty much see that pretty much all the big economies are still in the gray area. It has a chart down below. If you're actually going to go to Bloomberg and take a search, you can see what is going on in terms of the USA, Canada, even Brazil, which is a booming economy. And they're pretty much don't know what to do. They don't know what to like classify crypto under so i wouldn't be too worried i mean the only thing that so far has been made news and it actually made a little bit of awareness was what trump has been doing and they actually it's so far the only ban it's been venezuela's crypto the petrol so this actually sort of hit mainstream media so so far this is the only crypto ban in the u.s I also want to show a little bit of news that I found regarding the G20 event where they talk a little bit about what's going on in the blockchain and, and the regulation. And right when this event was going a little bit bullish towards uh, blockchain, Bitcoin had gone from $7,200 to $8,400 in that same exact day. Some say it was because of the G20, but I am actually a little bit more resilient to say that it's just mostly coincided with in the train line right here you can see it's exactly on that same date of that event and it, it had a moment where it could break down or break up and it decided to continue hitting that trend line so right now we're in a little bullish uh, scenario where we're going to be seeing a little bit nice price action you can see right here that we 
just went from that ugly $7,300. And then you can see right here when it hit the trend line, a little bit of price action. It had tested two times on that little trend line right there where you can see the little resistance. It consolidated and it's starting to shoot to new highs. We could be seeing hit Bitcoin right now reaching around that other little resistant area right there where you can see where it's around $9,500. So there is a little bit of gains to be made if you're trading Bitcoin. I personally don't trade Bitcoin, but you're welcome to do so. You know, some other news that we are actually going to be looking really into is what's going on in rating ICOs. If you look at the WISE ratings, this is actually a shocker. They've rated all the top 100 ICOs in the market. And the only one that hasn't made the cut on the top 100 has been Electronium at the E+. I mean, this is crazy. It's actually grouped with some other weedy, not even known coins like Aurora coin. Who doesn't even know about that? I actually had no idea that coin actually existed. The only other coin that I see that's been, it's been done well in the past was Rice, but that it, since it's been delisted from Bittrex, it has never done so well. So this is actually important because uh, WISE actually reviews coins a lot different than we do because we actually spend the entire time that we're not doing like videos, we spend it in research. And then we go through every single coin on the market cap and we actually evaluate it in, in, in a lot of different terms, almost like in a technical standpoint of what we will be expecting to see in terms of the gains from circulating supply volume to price action to development and uh we're still perfecting our little coin sheet it actually it's still very incomplete we're actually still adding a f information here and there about what we can add in terms of team advisors prototype partnerships competition and we will come up with a score based on what we believe the most accurate score and we are actually going to also compare them to each other so uh, this is one of the things we're going to be coming up soon. Keep updated, guys. We're going to be coming up with a lot of news. And thank you for, uh, for uh, joining us here. And I'll see you guys next time.